Hello YouTubers. So I'm going to show you how to build an antenna for um, 868 megahertz for mesh tastic. I'm going to be using these monster bottle cans, aluminium. So I'm going to cut out. Just three strips out of this um, monster can, about uh, three quarters of an inch thick, uh, wide. Sorry. And there's your uh, elements for your an your antenna. Obviously, I've got to cut them accordingly. Um, so, it needs a bit of batten or cut to size for it. Um, the uh, elements will be sat on top of this log set. You've got to make sure the spacings are correct. 43.09mm mil, the spacing. Um, so the rear reflector is going to be 170.6mm thereabouts. I mean you've got to trim some off as you need anyway when you're, uh, you're tuning the antenna up. Um, yeah so that will go like that. This one will be cut in half and that's that's the uh, the driven element. So that will be going there like so. And the next one I'll have to bend these proper flat when I've uh, finished. Um, I've got another one somewhere. Uh, right, so this dike, this Yagi antenna is going to be cut for the frequency that my node uses, which is A69.525 megahertz. That's what I'm going to try and cut the antenna to for that specific frequency. So to, in order to do that I've used a calculator and it's given me a, re a reflector length of 170.6 mil, the driven element 163.07 millimeter and the director 151.702. Obviously it's going to need tuning to trim in. So I've uh, prepared this bit of button here. So I'll, uh, I mean, I could probably put some drawing pins in it and solder onto the drawing pins. You know? Anyway, I'll put it. We'll come back when I put it together. Right there, it is. driven element and director. I'll do with drawing pins. 
there's your feed line, because there. Which I'm about to do now. Hello again, to me. I've drilled, a, I've drilled a hole for the coax to come through, 50 ohm coax. Poke that through the hole there. And then your wire, you solder the one, the centre wire, onto there, and then the ground wire onto the next one. Yeah, that's how, where I'm at so far. I've put it on a little bracket. So it's a... Uh, and I've soldered the wires. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, like right that. So now I'm about ready to test it on the Nano VNA. Let's see what that brings up. Do a bit of trimming. See how well it fares on that frequency. So here's the Nano VNA. Good little device this is. So, power it on. Um, first we've got to Calibrate it. I'm not gonna find this guy there. Oh, where's that gone? Wait a moment. Right. Found my stylus now. So first of all, we've got to calibrate it. So uh, calibrate, calibrate. Right, we're gonna get each of these. This is open. Open. Okay. Next one short. the short. Okay, that's done. Maybe that'll load. So, so it will load there. Good, that's done. Maybe let's get this. Oh yeah, I've got to put in a, a frequency as well. Um, which one is it? Back. Uh, stimulus, I see. Start. Well, I've cut this for 869 decimal 525 megahertz because that's what my nodes are using currently. So, anyway, so 869 869 decimal 525 megahertz and then stop for five um what is it eight seven zero dot just for a stop frequency there you go now I want to find out <coughs> SW bar don't I so if I go back Um, yeah, there. SWR. Back. Scale. Uh, show grid values. Good. Back. Back. And there we go, there's the grid values. Right, so if I plug the nano VNA into this aerial now. Oh, hang on, I need a pigtail. Don't I? Pigtail. Don't I? Right, so let's plug her in and see what she says. 
Ooh. There you go, look straight away. We're getting an SWR of 1.4 to 1 without any any problem at all. In fact, that's lower than the one I built yesterday, pointing north. That is interesting. I don't even have to do anything to this antenna. Which is surprising. So what is it? 1.4. Wow. Let's take away some of them trays here. I get a bit blindsided by all this information. Right. Display. Trays. So the SWR is yellow, isn't it? So we'll keep the yellow. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right, so we're just left with the SWR. Look. So if I slide the wheel towards 870 megahertz, what's it saying? 1.4. Well, that's quite stable. And that's the frequency I, I want this for. 8695.25 megahertz. I don't even have to do anything to this. It's actually good the way it is. Maybe a little trimmy. But yeah, this is the... Uh, the oh, that's the antenna. I don't know if you can see that pretty well, actually. Um, made on a bit of a... bit of batten and that's good that's good for you know I'm going to use that to on point south because I've got two nodes zoom out a bit there we go there we go no? I mean, it's just as simple as that <laughs> yeah and it works well I mean well, I don't know if it works well. It should do. The other one does. It's very focused. But yeah, I'll put that in the loft and uh, point that at south with the other node. Yeah, so usually you'd have to trim it to, keep, to get it right down low, the SWR. But this honestly doesn't need it. Very good. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll tie all this coax up like that. Keep, keep it all out of the way. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that anyway. <laughs> I had fun building it. Take care now.